Today in this video I am going to explain you in the finest way how star delta starter control wiring is done. As you know that three phase motor we use if we want to run this motor in star connection or in delta connection then we have to use three contactors here. One contactor is star contactor, second is delta contactor and third is main contactor. This means main power supply to motor is supplied through main contactor. After this to connect motor winding in star and delta you have to use two contactor. So overall you have to use three contactors. This star contactor here we have to turn on this first and after some time of star contactor we have to turn on delta contactor. To turn on delta contactor after some time we have to use a timer. This timer which you will use here must be on delay timer. Besides all of these you have to use an overload relay also through which we protect motor from overcurrent. To turn on the motor use a start push button. To turn off use a stop push button. Besides all you have to use one more electrical component here and that is two pole MCB. Through two pole MCB we will distribute power supply further. With this MCB first of all connect incoming power supply. You will get output of this phase supply at this point. So connect one wire from here and connect with 95 number terminal of overload relay. 95 and 96 number terminals of overload relay are NC contact. And in electrical circuit if we need to use interlocking that is need to use protection then we have to use NC contact there. So we provided input power supply at 95 number terminal. Now with 96 number terminal connect one wire and connect other end with stop push button. Now power supply you will get from this stop push button is to be connected with start push button. And from here connect a wire and connect other end with main contactor. For now I connected wire with A1 terminal of contactor. Now if you want to turn on this contactor then you have to provide neutral power supply also. So from here connect a wire and to this contactor at A2 terminal connect this wire directly. To hold this contactor we have to make holding circuit. To make holding circuit you have to use NO contact of this contactor. What you will do connect one wire from here and connect this wire with NO contact. With output of this NO contact connect one wire and connect other end with A1 terminal. What I have done here from output terminal of stop push button I connected a wire and connected with NO contact. From output terminal of NO contact power supply is taken and connected with A1 terminal. The power supply which comes when pressing this push button same power supply is to be connected with this timer. For this what you have to do the start push button here from output terminal for now from here I am connecting a wire and connect this wire with A1 terminal of timer. At A1 terminal of timer you have to provide phase supply and at A2 terminal you have to provide neutral supply. So from here I am providing neutral power supply. Now here in this timer you will find NONC contact here. As you can see 15, 16, 28 and below 18 number terminal is there. So in your timer there you will find NONC contact. The timer you have if last digit of your timer is 5 then it must be common terminal. After this in the terminal if last digit is 6 then it must be NC contact. And if last digit is 8 then it must be NO contact. So we can say 15 number terminal is our common terminal, 16 number terminal is NC and 18 number terminal is our NO terminal. What we will do from this phase supply here connect a wire and connect this wire with 25 number terminal. 25 number terminal is our common terminal. In star delta starter the star contactor here it must turn on first after this delta contactor must turn on. To turn on star contactor first what you need to do this timer here NC contact of this timer NC contact is 26 number terminal. So connect one wire from here and in this delta contactor connect this wire with NC contact. Here we are using NC contact of delta contactor because star contactor and delta contactor both these contactors must not turn on together. So here we provided input power supply. We will get output at this point. So from here connect a wire and with A1 terminal of this contactor connect this wire. To this contactor we are providing neutral power supply directly from here. To this delta contactor also we are providing neutral power supply directly. Now only at A1 terminal of this contactor we have to provide phase supply. To provide phase supply what we will do in this timer the NO contact here 28 number terminal is NO contact. So with this terminal connect a wire 
and first of all in star contactor connect this wire with NC contact. We are using NC contact of star contactor for interlocking. We will get output of this NC contact at this point. So from here connect a wire and connect this wire with A1 terminal of delta contactor. So only this much connection is required. So in this way you have to perform control wiring of star delta starter. Friends I hope you like this video. If you like this video give like on my video. If you are new to the channel subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching this video.